I love small details and easter eggs in video games, which is why Animal Crossing is a perfect series for me because it's all about spotting those small details. Developers spend a lot of time on those details and I'm here to spot them all. So here are 30 small details you might have missed in New Horizons. In the bug section of the museum, if you go to where the office and underground bugs are kept, you may notice that there are some escapees. The ants have managed to find a way from their enclosure to the cup in the office. I wonder if that's why Blathers is never in there. Also in the office, if you look closely, you can spot a familiar face on the board, Nat. Nat was the bug-off host in City Folk and New Leaf, and Flick, the new bug-off host, is hinted to be his son. Keeping in the museum, in the aquarium, if you happen to be in the river section at the large tank, if you've caught them, you might notice a certain little fish following you around. The piranha has a set path around the tank like the other fish, but if you approach the tank when it's on the way around, you can break its path and have it follow you. If you stick to the left side of the tank, you can even get it to clip through, which is only slightly terrifying. Again in the river section, you might not have noticed, but the fish in the staircase tanks actually follow where they can be found in the river. Fish that can be found in the clifftop rivers like cherry salmon and golden trout are at the top, with the sturgeon found at the river mouth at the bottom. Again in the aquarium, if you happen to encounter a villager by the large tanks and speak to them, their voice will echo. <coughs> Just a neat little detail that the developers didn't have to put in, but it makes a great effect. Outside of the museum now, but still related, some of the fossils when displayed on the island will move when you interact with them. Unfortunately, they don't go full night at the museum and start running around though. Moving away from the museum details, now to the shop. With the upgraded Nook's Cranny, you may have noticed that when the season changes, the front decal of the shop changes. In the Northern Hemisphere, we will have just seen it change from the spring decor to the summer, and in the Southern, it has changed from the autumn to the winter decor. Likewise, Likewise, in the summer and winter, there is an extra seasonal item spot inside the shop. Also in the shop, you may have spotted the elephant watering can. These are quite possibly my favourite watering cans, and they actually have multiple faces. You'll have to go to other people's islands to be able to get each one. Personally, I might try to collect them all. You may have noticed when walking along different surfaces, the sound your footsteps make is different. But did you know this also counts for what kind of shoes you're wearing too? The sound will change depending on what you have on your feet and what surface you are walking on. Sort of on the topic of feet, but if you stop walking on a slope or a step, your character's knee will bend instead of just floating above the ground. It's such a simple detail, but look, we have knees! Let's go back to clothes. A cool detail is if you are wearing a kimono, the sleeves will be rolled up when you're wearing a backpack or using certain tools. A detail you may not have noticed if you're like me and donate your artwork before looking at it is that real artwork will have an authentication label on the back of it. This could be a way to double check you have a real painting, but it will be a little too late because you've already bought it. On the topic of artwork, fake artwork can be haunted. Some pieces will move, for example their eyes will blink. Maybe these are the ghosts that Wisp is terrified of. Another detail I find really cool is that when you place a fan and turn it on, it blows all of the surrounding objects. An object that you may not have noticed has a use besides decoration is that if you sit on a toilet after eating fruit, you'll poop it out, and obviously you flush because you're not disgusting. DISGUSTING! You'll definitely have noticed you can interact with the pinball machine, but when you're hitting A, you're actually playing the game. Each time you hit A, the bumpers at the bottom will move, so you can actually play a game of pinball. A detail you probably hadn't noticed unless you'd done it by accident is when you're holding your axe and happen to swing it at an instrument. Rather than just clipping through or doing the missed interaction, the instrument will actually make a noise as if it's been hit. <laughs> I don't recommend trying this in real life, results may vary. You will have definitely noticed that different sized fish and bugs have different sized containers when placed. Some are definitely too small, but we're not going to talk about that right now. What you may not have noticed is that really small bugs when placed will be put under a cup. I guess we could theorise that the player character may not be well educated in insect and fish care. During Isabel's announcements when you first start up the game, if it's raining on your island, you can actually see the raindrops on the window behind her. This is a great way to know what the weather is like on your island for the day as it does change depending on the weather. Another way to see the weather is on the TV. At 6.15, 7.45 and 11.45am you'll be able to see the weather forecast for the current day and at 6.30 and 10.45pm you can see the forecast for the next day. Also on the television, at 3.33am on Saturdays, the aliens will start their broadcast. Aliens have always been a part of Animal Crossing in some form or another, but New Horizons follows in New Leaf steps with having them show up via TV broadcasts. I mentioned in a previous video about 
fruit being removed in New Horizons, but technically they're here. In the vending machine on the middle row, you're able to see them on drinks cans. From left to right, it's persimmon, durian, lychee, coconuts that weren't removed, and lemon. Maybe they should have replaced coconut with mango or banana. A detail I find really funny but can only be done when playing couch co-op is that wasps will attack whoever and not necessarily the one who disturbed them. You can run into other players to get the wasps to attack them if you want to avoid an ugly eye problem. Similarly, villagers will react to the player when they're both being chased by wasps and if they're catching something like a scorpion or a tarantula. They'll be extremely relieved if you succeed. Let's talk more about villager details, most importantly, toe beans. That's right, the villager animals that can have toe beans do have toe beans, and that's very important. You can see them when they sit down. Another extremely important detail is that when villagers are eating certain foods, you can hear their little crunches when they chew. When entering a villager's home and then immediately leaving, if they're not preoccupied by crafting or something else, they will react with a confused reaction. I imagine we would do the same if our friends randomly entered our homes and then left without saying a word. If you have one, you may have noticed that frog villagers don't wear raincoats when it's raining. This is obviously because frogs can live in water and have skin that rain can just slide off of. It's a nice little detail that makes them stand out. Likewise, if you've ever wondered how dogs wear jeans or how a frog villager wears a hat, then we have the answer. Frog villagers will wear a certain hat on their eye. This sounds incredibly uncomfortable. I'm fairly sure other hats they wear on the back of their heads. Finally, villagers will take selfies or pictures of things they like. Sometimes their reactions to their selfies are a little too accurate. When they do this, what you can also notice is that each villager has their own custom designed phone case, which is just a nice little bit of individuality for them. So that's 30 small details you might not have noticed in New Horizons. I hope you've enjoyed this video and maybe learned something new. A like would be appreciated if you did. Leave a comment of any details I didn't mention in this video. I know there's more out there and if there's enough of them, I might make a sequel video. Subscribe if you want to see more from me. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram to see what else I get up to. Join my Discord server if you want to hang out with a very wholesome community. I promise it's a fun time. Links are in the description below and I'll see you next time. Bye!